Hi, uh, I'm Chris from Three Dags Brewery. Uh, we're going to try and show you how to set up and serve a cask of cask conditioned ale. Uh, so let's let's start. Let me go through what we've got. You've got your barrel of beer. We've got a mallet, which you'll need to tap the uh, cask with. You've got the tap itself. These can be a little bit stiff. If it's stiff, then uh, literally just loosen off at the back. Just make sure it swivels nicely before you get it in. So that's your tap. Something called a hard spile with which you just release the pressure in the, in the uh, cask. A soft spile, a cork. Something called a hop filter, which is a little sieve. And that uh, not only makes a good seal between the tap and the little down pouring spout, but it stops any little bits of hop coming through into your beer. We've also got some chocks. So let's set her up. Set her up. Real ale works best if it's given plenty of time. So what I would suggest is, if you've got a, if you can, you set your barrel up with at least a day before you want to serve it. If you can, set it up on a nice firm table um, and preferably somewhere cool. That will help. Think of real ale as a bit like a pint of milk, which we treat it not dissimilarly. First thing, set the cask up. So this one's empty, but when you get your cask, stick it on the top on a wooden table. They are quite heavy, they weigh about 40 kilos, maybe a bit more, so you might need someone to help you. Place your chocks either side. Make sure it's nice and firm. Sometimes a tea towel on a table underneath will help that. Next thing you need to do is just leave it. Leave it for a day, 24 hours, just to sit there and for the yeast to settle down to the bottom of the cask. There's something in the barrel of beer called finings, which just coagulates all the yeast and they drop to the bottom of the barrel, um, leaving clear beer in the cask. You need to do that. Um, so 24 hours if possible. Next thing, take your mallet and the hard spiral, a little plastic peg, and drive it into the, this thing is called a shive on the top of the cask. Literally take your peg and there's a little plastic dot in the top, in the top. tap it in, and that will knock the plastic into the beer, that doesn't matter and that will reduce, well, release the pressure in the barrel and you may see froth coming out. That's perfectly acceptable. Next, you take the soft spile, this little porous wooden peg, just place it in the top, a bit of finger pressure, and if, any, if the beer continues to work, it'll froth through there and that's fine. Ideally, leave it until it stops frothing. At that point, take the tap, make sure it's in the off position, so that's with that crossways, and you're going to bang that into this thing which is called a keystone in the front of the cask here. Make sure your chocks are in, and this might move because it's no weight in the cask, but then we're going to just drive it in. So hold it loosely with your one hand and then you're going to hit it with a mallet. Rubber mallet because these are plastic and you might break the edge of the thing. So one, two, three, let's have a go. Tap it in. Doesn't matter that it's slightly off squiff like that, if you can, you can just set it up a little bit, that's fine. Job done. You might find that that promotes a little bit of frothing at the top, that's not a problem. Okay, so basically the cask is now ready almost for sale. You can leave it for another little hour to, to settle down, but the next thing to do is to take the small hop filter, place that in the end of the tap, and then attach your downpouring spout to that. Make sure the thread doesn't get crossed. Tighten it up, nice, just hand tightness is fine. And then you're ready to serve your beer. You will need to release the pressure, uh, or release the vacuum that can cause with the, um, with the little soft spile. So just pull that out a little bit, because as soon as you turn here, you'll get a vacuum in there if you, if you, don't, uh, um, if you don't dispense it. If, as soon as you start pouring a pint, it'll pull the vacuum. So just release that, and then, Turn the tap to serve the beer. And turn it off to shut. And really, it's as straightforward as that. If, it is too, if this is very tight, there's a, a screw at the bottom here which you can loosen. And then you can hear, I've just pushed up at the bottom and that's released it a little bit. It sometimes happens. So this is on a taper, so that sometimes can get very tight. But that's all, that's, that's all that goes wrong if it is. And so, yeah in line to serve, across to stop. Enjoy your beer, that's all there is to it. Have fun.